the Wu hypothesis. There has been a lot of discussion off and on, more on than off lately, about Sasquatch and portals, Sasquatch and cloaking, and Sasquatch associated with other paranormal phenomena. Many of us in the Bigfoot community are using the term woo when discussing this sort of thing. Now, I am, by my nature, not argumentative. I always assume, as a working hypothesis, that people who have observed and reported Sasquatch engaging in paranormal activities, or woo, are not lying about their observations, until proven otherwise. Allow me to interject here that I think that there are almost certainly several species of unidentified upright walking apes related to all us other apes running about the planet. I will now present my hypothesis concerning areas where Sasquatch have been exhibiting woo. The hypothesis is, these places have a bad case of the fairies. Yes, fairies, beings like the sylphs, naiads, and dryads of Greek mythology, lower order devas of Hinduism, or the jinn of Arabia. Sometimes these days they are called nature spirits. The Celts call them the good folk, the gentry, the she, as in banshee and pikchi, or more specifically in this case, pukas, the shape-shifting fairy of Irish legend. Pukas lead people astray, as is illustrated in the stage play Harvey. Elwood P. Dowd, the lead character in Harvey, is led astray from a successful career in the world of banking after he encounters Harvey, a six foot three and a half inch tall upright walking rabbit. Harvey talks Elwood into leaving banking and, instead, spending his day socializing with the lower classes in a local bar. Certain recent revelations, coming from the woo side of Bigfootery, suggest that American pukas are practicing their guile on this continent right now. Every older culture all over the world has stories about non-physical entities that can delude humans and sometimes manifest a seeable form, make audible noises, produce smellable odors, induce emotions in the observer, and generally make things go bump in the night. John Keel proposed that such entities are hostile to humans and come from some other dimension with naughty intentions. I think they are perfectly natural entities that occasionally like to flabbergast us, the form they assume is taken from our minds and the current surrounding culture, as are their actions, which is why much of what they do is inexplicable. I personally have occasionally run into some of these buggers, a subject which I have elaborated upon in other quasi-theories. Now, where do these creatures come from? I think they come from wherever subatomic particles pop out from and disappear back to, or photons that are quantum entangled talk to each other. They come from a higher order Riemannian phase space, of which our world is a multiply connected subset. In other words, the astral plane. That said, any of these beings that have time to waste dorking about with us humans are of a low order and not very bright. Some of them are quite territorial and radiate anger and hostility. I chased one around in a basement of an old house once. They back off when confronted. They don't do portals as such, but they can sure make you see one, along with demons, guardian Ewoks, appear as mind-speaking forest people, or what have you. So in conclusion, if the Bigfoot you are seeing comes from a portal, then ain't a Bigfoot, it's a bloody fairy. You may read the text of this on my blog at bindeen.com. That's B-H-A-I-D-I-N dot com.